each. If my math's correct, that's only 30 cards for $30. So each pack needs to get over a dollar. Am I ready to open these? Let's start off with every pack art as well. That's awesome. So you got one pack art on each one of them. There. Oh, it says 1996. Um, Phantom Emperor Trojan. Beautiful card. Definitely gonna get sleeved up. He has 4,000 attack, 4,000 defense. I'm pretty sure that's worth it. Reptilani Ekinda. Very beautiful card. Like I said, I've never opened one of these. I'm sure every, I think every pack in here has rare and foil. That's what it seems like. Makam Mekashi Mayhem. Look at this. I love my new lighting. You can actually see the card detail. White Man. The Zombie. I appreciate you tuning in with me each day. Sorry I haven't had content for a couple days. I was just getting all my giveaways put together. We're going to be focusing on content though for the next month. Instead of giveaways. So that was our first pack. We got one Fusion Phantom Empire Trojan. And that card seems to be something. Looks like one of the cards on the cover. None of these are PSA 10. Alright, so we have a Wadagraph. Cyberneck Overflow. That's pretty awesome. If you have not seen these cards, tell me which ones you've not seen in the chat below. Extra Hero Infernal Divisor. This is an expensive pack opening, so just bear with me. I'm trying to make the most of it. I don't want to redo this video. Golden Castle of Stomenberg. I understand my lighting's not perfect, but we'll get it. Vanity's Ruler. 2,500 attack, 1,600 defense, and 8 stars. Thanks. Beautiful card. All these cards are rare. All of them are beautiful. I have to sleeve each one when I'm done. Which is okay, because they're all beautiful. We pulled a Synchro Phantom Empire Trojig, I believe is my best card so far. I just used this pack art for the last pack there. Short. My new pack art is this one. We have three packs left. Plus the Destiny Hero Celestial. For the 4,000 out of 4,000. Can't be upset with that. Pretty cool. Joe, yeah. let me know what content y'all would like to see. The only one that didn't come hurt is the Maleficent Divide. So if that is a good card, let me know in the chat. Because it is flat. It's the only one. <laughs> so maybe there's a reason. The pack art for this one. I love Yu-Gi-Oh for the pack art. Maleficent Selector. And more than just the pack art. Yu-Gi's really awesome. These cards are actually pretty good shape. Those fire decals for y'all. Bajinki! Ashrama! 
just bear with me. I know today's a long video. It would probably be faster if I was in my normal setup. Blue Harmut, the malicious composer. Beautiful. Very. Some nice music artwork. And then we have the Maleficent Paradox here. The 0 0 attack rating. And defense. Hopefully we can pull something crazy. We don't exactly know what we're going to cause that. Alright, now that the Ab Arbitross dogs have stopped barking, we have a cubic casualty trap card. Firebrand Hymenist. Rose, we're going to speed this up a little bit. Rose Bell of Revolution. Revelation. Secret 6 Samurai Yuma. With a nice seal of approval of the Samurai Kingyo Suke! The Samurai! Hello. Last pack magic, baby! Get it! Pack. Look! Herald of Myridge Light! Mirage Lights. Cubic Ascension Trap Card. Rose Bell of Revolution again. I think we got something. I think we got something. I think we got something. I can't tell you. We have a Speedroid Hexer Saucer. Very beautiful card, eh, guys? I don't know what to you. We have. This beautiful car behind this. Should I make you wait for the next video? Nah! Look at this! Oh my god! You pulled it! If you want to know the name, go to Kenneth's channel, Instagram. And I will tell you exactly what car this is all about. Thank you so much. Peace out.